Do you think you'd ever be at the beach in December? Hi everybody, welcome back to Zephyr Travels. I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And this week we're coming to you from Little PD State Park. We hinted last video this is where we we're headed and here we are. This is this park is what an hour outside of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. About that, yeah. Yeah, about that. So today we're gonna take a ride into Myrtle Beach. We're taking the dogs with us, see what fun things we can do, see if we can get them out on the beach. They really love the beach, so we're gonna try and do that. The weather here is pretty nice. It's supposed to be in the low 70s today. Maybe a chance of a little bit of rain, but we're not worried about it. Right. Do you think you'd ever be at the beach in December? No, I don't. And here we are in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, taking our walk along the beach, December 3rd. It's not too bad out. It's actually about 75 degrees and sunny. Uh, you know, by the ocean, it's always a little breezy. There are people out. And uh, yeah, we decided to bring Monty and Zephyr down for some time at the beach. Well, downtown Myrtle Beach is a lot of fun. A lot of little shops and places to grab a slice of pizza or whatever you might want. Right. And, and we did get out on the beach with the dogs. Yeah, they love the beach. They absolutely love it. And there's a lot of little things to do, arcades and there's a zip line thing behind us at the Ferris wheel. I think there's some other amusements around here too. Um, if you uh, are here in the more typical season, we're not in season. Right, if you're here probably May till September, October. Right. There's a lot more people. There probably will be a lot more people later. They do have a Christmas type festival going on and uh, that starts... Six o'clock. Yeah, six o'clock after it gets dark out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was fun. It's always fun to come to Myrtle Beach. We've been to Myrtle Beach camping. On our honeymoon. Yeah, many times. Many, many times, yep. Yeah. And we'll have to come back here and, and spend some more time, you know, one of these days and, and do a regular, you know, camping at Myrtle Beach video. Right. But we do have some videos. We do have Pirate Land video that you can check out. Right, right. So it was fun. It's a nice day. Weather's good. Yeah. So, yeah. And so what do you think of this campground? I thought it was nice. When we first pulled in, it was kind of dark and it's really it's really wooded yeah, you're, it's you're, real, in a, you're in a evergreen forest it's really wooded but once you see it in the daytime and kind of walk around and explore it a bit it's really a nice campground there is a little lake right next to it and you can bring your kayaks or uh, i don't know fish i don't know fishing boats but i think you can you can fish yeah, in this pa lake. paddle boats you right. can't you can't have i don't think you can have motorized boats in there but you can have kayaks and canoes and such Right. There is no swimming because I guess there's water moccasins. Water moccasins, yes. Um, I don't think we've ever seen one, but I understand they can be a little bit dangerous. Yeah, yeah, so I wouldn't recommend swimming. And it, it is what they call black water, which means it's not doesn't have very good visibility, so you wouldn't be able to see anything in the water. Oh, okay. So that would be something to uh, be concerned about. But this is right on the Little PD River, uh, which kind of goes through this section of oh, so South that Carolina. Oh, so is a river. Is yeah. it a river or a lake? Yeah, it is a river. Oh, okay. And they do have a nice bridge. You can walk across to the other side. There's not a lot on the other side. You might find some hiking trails. There are a few trails within the park, and we did go down one yesterday. Yeah. And that led us to another nice part of the park. There is a small office. 
Uh, they do have a sign out front. It looks like they do have some kind of, um, you know, snacks or whatever. Right. And, uh, yeah, I'm surprised, really, looking around this morning, how full the park is. Yeah, this is the weekend. This is a Saturday and a weekend. And I would say the park's at least half full. Pretty much all the power sites are full. Right. Um, the, the park does have um, a number of sites with water and electric. They have a few sites with water, electric, and sewer. And then they have a, roughly maybe half the sites with no hookups. Uh, so, and that's out of 50 sites. Right. Fortunately, we got one with full hookups. Yeah, we got a full hookup site. It's pretty nice. Um, the site is very roomy. Um, a lot of open space in here. We have a fire pit, a picnic table. Um, it is all sand, so you want to have your mat or whatever to put down to keep from tracking all the sand into the trailer and, and vacuum a lot. Made it to Florida. First leg of the trip is done. Now the fun stuff begins. Yep. You ready, Monty? Ready, Zeph? You ready? They're for fun excited. Stuff? They're excited, yes. Okay. All right. Let's go. Today we're headed to Lake Louisa. Is that a state park? It's a state park, yep. It's um, a little northwest of Orlando. We're only there for two nights. Um, so it's a quick stay, but we're getting a chance to just kind of check out the area and such and give you an idea of what the park's like. Uh, and, and but on our way there, we're going to stop at Bucky's. Right. Yeah, we're stopping there for lunch today. At one of the Bucky's, not the Bucky's. We've already seen one Bucky's in South we, Carolina. Yeah, and there, was, and there will be two more probably will pass here in Florida that are brand new. Oh, okay. Well, actually, even the one in South Carolina is brand new. Okay. But they're out of Texas. They're heading across the southeast. 
and we're going to make a stop there. And right. we'll take you guys with us. So, until we stop, we'll just continue driving on the highway. Yep. This is our first time at Bucky's for food. Oh. That's why I decided I had to get two sandwiches to figure out which one I want. I got a chopped beef and a pulled pork, and that's what you have pulled pork. Pulled pork. So we're going to check this out and see what we think. Of. This is almost like, this isn't quite gas station food, hopefully. <laughs> no, I would think Bucky's has a better reputation than right. gas station. So, what do you think of Bucky's? It's, it's a very neat place to visit. Yeah, the restrooms are real clean. And it's, I mean, we've been, we've stopped a few times and they're always, always busy. Yeah, not that many times, but yeah, but they are, I mean. Yeah, we've stopped. We didn't text us when we stopped, we were there. Yeah. But uh, I don't know, well maybe the one was just this big. One of them wasn't quite as big, but they are something else. Mm-hmm. After five days of driving on the road, we've made it to our destination. We are at Lake Louisa State Park. In Clement, Florida. I believe that's how you say it. Yeah, this is a, a real nice state park, like a lot of the Florida state parks. But we're going to get into more of that in the next video. For now, I think we're going to end this video right here. So what should they do if they uh, want to uh, follow along? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. Hit that bell for notifications. We post new videos on a weekly basis, and we'd love to have you follow along in our adventures. So until the next time, guys. We'll see you down the road. Take care. Bye. Let's not waste time on